Last time in Ron Sailing, we sailed on our friend's boat to the uninhabited island Klein Curacao. We did some work on the teak deck. And went to explore Curacao and its nature. and also got to experience some true island vibes. It's the rain season in Curacao, and we had a couple of squalls. But one afternoon, a huge squall with thunder and lightning came in over Spanish water from the west. wasn't really ready for some heavier winds so this is the result there is a boat behind us they actually they were they broke the mooring or the drag the mooring thing on the bottom and they crashed into another boat just behind us here I think they're okay now but yeah this really came up on us quite quickly this uh, squall a lot of thunder and a lot of rain and um, from the west it's not something that you you know you've been sitting here for two months with the winds from the east and suddenly you have a squall from the west but it went alright there were some boats around here that we heard on the radio that they were dragging but I think most boats are pretty okay My hands, uh, I've been working quite a lot in the rain here. Uh, looks like I've been in the bath for like two months. <laughs> and we were gonna have a pizza night on the beach. Yeah. Everyone just rushed away to their boats. Yeah. Yeah. People really rushed away to the boats. Oh, that's really broken. Yeah, but I think the. Oh shit, this is sugar. That's <gasps> Uh, today it's a flea market, a cruising flea market inside here at a yeah, restaurant. So we gather some old stuff from the boat that we'll try to sell today. Uh, we have some uh, old uh, radiators. <laughs> it's uh, probably really easy to sell in the Caribbean, <laughs> but we'll try. And uh, what else? We have some stainless steel, old drogue that is a bit too small for uh, Ron and yeah some filter cartridges and uh, we also have uh, collected some clothes uh, that we don't use anymore that we will donate to the victims of the hurricane Irma up in St. Martin there's a shipment going here from uh, Curacao with food and clothes up there to the people in need let's see if we can uh, get something sold today I doubt it but uh, yeah. So, what is the main goal today is? Get rid of this. Not coming back with more stuff. Yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, I guess that's the main goal. But you know, flea markets, especially flea markets for boat stuff, it's it's really fun. So yeah, if you know me correctly, we will probably buy something. But, uh, <laughs> but as long as it's not more than we are. No, uh, less from less the weight boat. and less space, then yeah. it's okay. So that's the deal. Yeah. Many cruisers spend the hurricane season in Spanish water, so there is a nice cruising community here. The flea market is one of the activities being organized by the cruisers, and a lot of them have come this day to sell their treasures from the bilge. Ah, <laughs> uh, got me my granddad glasses on. Yeah, I just bought a couple of big uh, water containers. They're really expensive, uh, and I got them for well, they're brand new and they're reasonably cheap, so that's a deal straight away. It's really good here, lots of bargains. So I'm going to look round. So uh, I'll talk to you later. Because this filter in this heat is... Uh, uh, We're back from the flea market. We only sold one thing, which was the gas throttle that we had inside before. Uh, but it was alright. The rest we gave back because we only came back with this. So, at least we came back with less stuff than before. <laughs> well, we're mostly cruisers there and most of them left pretty early. So we thought that, yeah, we didn't stay there all, all day. And, but it was fun. It's a great way to, to just get rid of some of the stuff you have on board that you don't uh, use anymore. And maybe someone else has the need for it. So that's good. Where your friends are from calling and slap you on the back and say <laughs> At the same place where the flea market was held, the restaurant organized an evening with extra long happy hour with music from the old sea dog. The revenue from the drinks and food would go to the hurricane victims in the Caribbean. Our friend Anna and her family that we got to know in St. Martin joined us since they recently had been evacuated to Curaçao. Their house got completely destroyed, but we were so happy that they didn't get hurt and it was so nice to see them again. Everybody has a drink. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Yeah. What's happening now? That was maybe the last time I tied up Shabby. So we probably made the last tour with Shabby. How's so that? I bet you can think of what's coming up. <laughs> we are so excited, so excited. Yes!
my crisp. When Highfield saw the current state of our dinghy shabby, they wanted to help us out. We've been looking at their ultralight aluminium hull dinghies for a long time. And it really felt like Christmas when we could pick up our own that had been shipped from Miami. We have a dinghy, we have a new dinghy, we have a new dinghy. I couldn't be happier. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Meet our new dinghy. We have a dinghy. Yeah, we have a dinghy. Looks great, huh? What's the new name now? I don't know what we're gonna call it. I don't know if it's a he or a she. No? Either. We, give it some we have to we have to get to know it. Yeah. What character is that? <laughs> yeah. We hoist the dinghy overnight and lock it with a stainless chain to prevent theft. We took it for a ride and went over to Sailing Uma that had arrived to Curaçao. We didn't have the time to hang out. But most likely, our paths will cross again. Are you going to sleep in the dinghy tonight? Maybe. <laughs> it's gonna be always shiny and nice. Oh, uh, for sure, huh? You're going to clean it every day? I will see. <laughs> <laughs> We'll probably get used to it getting dirty pretty fast and that it's gonna have stains and stuff. Yeah. But it's so nice. Yeah, it is. We will take good care of it. Oh, I love it. It's just great. Such a life changer for us as liverboards. We're not wet anymore when we go with the dinghy. It's awesome. So we are preparing Xavi for his new owners and preparing for us to say goodbye to him. I'm not sure if I can say that he has served us well. <laughs> we have we've had to tame him and tame him over and over again, but he's been pushing it. He's been pushing it, trying to kill us, trying to I don't know, whatever, killing the outboard engine, all that kind of stuff. Um, we will give him to our friends here on the island, Steve and Denise. They just bought a sailboat and they don't have a dinghy. So, I mean, I mean, it's not perfect, of course it's not perfect, but of uh, at least he will serve them to just go here in Spanish Bay in Anchorages or when they just go close by with, the, with the, their boat. So they have something. Uh, so yeah, they, I think they will be happy. We will give uh, them also a repair kit, we have some patches, we actually have some paint as well, dinghy paint, so if they want they can paint Chubby. We have oars and yeah, I'm just cleaning him a little bit. I mean for being in this closed water for such a long time, it's not too dirty. But he's really singing on his last verse, as you say. Uh, He's like, he can almost hold the air just for a couple of hours. You have to pump, uh, yeah, twice a day. But yeah, if they put some more patches maybe and patch the leaks up, he will be good for another couple of months maybe, just going short distances. Yeah, tomorrow we're leaving. And uh, yeah, because we've been anchored here for several weeks now, the anchor chain is <laughs> like this thick. So I need to dive in and clean that off. But the stuff that grows in that chain, it stings. It's like, uh, I don't know, some poison in, those, uh, in that growth. Okay. Okay. 
Joker. Burns. Where? Hurts. It hurts a lot. It was time to move on and leave Curacao for this time. It was bittersweet since we made so many good friends here and really had a good time. But we were also looking forward to sail to new places and explore. Oh, it's like, oh, burning hot. So grab the towel. Yeah, so we have checked out both customs and immigration and now we're going to do some last minute, not last minute, but some grocery shopping for tomorrow and we're leaving for Aruba. We can really recommend Curacao to all cruisers and also to anyone that wants to go on vacation on this nice island. Danke Dushi Curacao for treating us so well. In a couple of days, it's gonna be full moon. Yeah, two days. Yeah. We're so gonna get we'll, an, an Aruba. Yes, so we will have a lot of light when we're sailing tomorrow. Yeah. That's nice. Thank you for watching this round sailing episode. We hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and you can check out our social media pages on Facebook and Instagram and also our Patreon page if you want to. And stay tuned for next week's episode where we sail to Aruba. Bye!